We're going to write a pitch for Webtoon. Hey, Walter here, and I wanted to share the pitch format for Webtoons. Now this is going to be if you're pitching a featured original comic. If you're doing a canvas comic, you don't really need anything except for some art to upload. But if you're doing a canvas comic and Webtoon comes calling, you're gonna be ready for them. You could also use this pitch for other publishers. Now they might have their own specific guidelines, but you're gonna be able to reuse a lot of the same elements. There's also the added bonus of doing a pitch is it makes you focus on the broad strokes of your story, which can also lead to a better overall story. Do you have a dream publisher you would love to work with? I think for me personally, Webtoon has the biggest amount of positives, but I would like to work with Image just to put that credit on my CV and also for the bragging rights of saying, yes, I was published by Image Comics. So the pitch packet is broken up into log line, themes, similar titles, concept, characters, breakdown, and art. First up, log line. You've got 10 seconds to make someone want to read your story. What do you say? Whatever you say is what the log line is gonna be. Log lines are usually one to three sentences and are built around using elements of character, challenge, and reward. For example, the blank must blank while blank, otherwise known as the rookie cop must save a witness while hiding from his corrupt brothers in blue. How about my webtoon comic, Hacksaw? An introverted hacker must overcome her fears to stop a corporation's evil plans for world domination. Or my other comic, Shiver Bureau. Two detectives must learn to work together to save missing orphans from evil spirits and diabolical machinations. Or cubicles. Two slackers are caught up in an epic space adventure but only want to get home. Unfortunately, they suck at everything. Log lines can be tough to write, but they are great for selling your story. Not only that, but I think they are a great reminder to us about the core of what our story is supposed to be about. So I think even before writing your story, you should write the log line on a post-it note and just stick it to your screen so you always remember what story you wanted to tell originally. Next up is themes. Themes can be somewhat cliche, but at the end of the day, there are certain buckets that stories fall into and it's just easier to identify stories that way. You gotta remember the main goal of a pitch isn't entertainment. It's to disseminate a bunch of data in a small amount of time. Editors are only going to spend a few seconds glancing at a pitch to determine if it warrants a longer look. So don't use 20 words to say something that could be said in one word. Yes, if you can make the pitch entertaining, that's gonna give it a little boost, but it should never be done in disservice to efficiency. Some typical themes are coming of age, love, good versus evil, survival, courage, David versus Goliath, underdog stories, death, war, social injustice. These are just to name a few, but you get the general idea. Next, we have comparison titles. Now, I know we don't like being compared to other people, but in the name of efficiency, similar titles is the fastest way to tell someone what your comic will be like. For example, my comics, Shiver Bureau, Sherlock Holmes, Ghostbusters, Doctor Who, Hacksaw, Matrix, Hackers, Sword Art Online, cubicles, Bill and Ted's, office space, space balls. I think with that stuff, you start getting an immediate idea of what those three comics are like, and that is the whole point of comparison titles. Next is series concept. The concept is going to expand upon the log line. You got them interested. Now you have another minute, what do you say? Two things I wanna mention here. First, the definition for a lot of this stuff is vague and there tends to be a lot of overlap depending on who you ask. Just remember, this isn't a test, you aren't being graded. Just think about the important elements of your story and tell them that stuff. Second, remember this isn't for entertainment and it isn't for a viewing audience. You don't have to worry about having flowery wording and you don't wanna hide all of the twists and turn of your story. You want to share them. All the stuff that makes your pitch awesome, that's the stuff that you need to let them know. There are no secrets in a pitch. So for Shiver Bureau, it'd be something like this. In a world where ghosts are commonplace, the Shiver Bureau was created to deal with unruly ghosts. The Bureau is made up of inspectors, a group of individuals with special powers that allow them to deal with the otherworldly threat. But a new and more powerful threat is growing that will push the Bureau to the brink of destruction. Or something like that. Now we have my favorite characters. 
You only need a short bio of the characters here. Include things that you think are important, age, gender, race, story. And just for the important characters that have a direct impact on the story and the vibe. So for Haxer, Iso, teen, female, a shy loner who is one of the best hackers in the world. She grew up on the streets eating food out of dumpsters before she was taken in by Wire. Wire became her only family and taught her the ways of hacking. She is competitive, rash, cocky when she's hacking, but in the real world, she's afraid to go outside and can't trust anyone with the exception of Wire. Finally, series breakdown. Again, kind of close to concept, but even more broken down. Hence the name breakdown. You will have major beats and how those can translate into episodes. Depending on how your story is, you might wanna do these in different ways. Just remember efficiency and clarity are the key to the game. So for a shiver bureau, I could do, after a detective loses her partner, she is forced to work with a brash and self-absorbed inspector. She'd rather quit, but after several orphans have gone missing and a slew of monster sightings, she puts aside her annoyance to solve the case. As the two detectives follow the clues, they have to deal with bar fights, underground gangs, ghosts, monsters, and corruption. The clues lead them to a supernatural power that threatens the very fabric of the universe. I kept it a little vague just in case you want to read it, which you can do for free at shiverbureau.com. You'd probably want to add more detail for on each beat. For example, I could go into more detail on why they got into a bar fight. Maybe give it its own sentence. However, remember to stay as brief as possible without actually hiding anything and also giving punch to all the important stuff in your story. Doesn't really need to be more than three paragraphs. That doesn't mean you have to use three paragraphs though. Now that the story is out of the way, we're going to need art. Webtoon is a visual media, which means they're gonna wanna see what this bad boy looks like. At a minimum, you'll wanna produce 15 panels worth of story. I would suggest putting it in the Webtoon format to make things as seamless as possible. I'd also say that these 15 panels don't actually have to be pulled directly from your story. If you can think of 15-ish panels that show off the character, the world, or the story really well, then just do a little side story for your pitch. Uh, but that's only if you're doing new art. If you've already drawn the story, then just use the art from that. But also remember, it doesn't have to be the first 15 panels. Pick a set of sequential 15 panels that you think are really good, that are really exciting, that are really going to hook the editors that are looking at your pitch. Now you can do more than 15 panels, but I wouldn't say do like 100 panels. That's just overload. As a bonus, if you have character designs, location, vehicle designs, I would include that stuff in the pitch. People love looking at art and it's gonna draw them into your story. Pick the best of your stuff. Don't send them every crappy sketch you made. So that is what a Webtoon pitch looks like. Now I know you're asking yourself, how do I get the opportunity to pitch? And that is the hard part. Webtoon doesn't offer open submissions, which means you can't just take your pitch and send it to them. No one's gonna see it, no one's gonna look at it. The only way to pitch is for the editors to ask you to send them something, which means they have to know about you, they have to find you. So this could happen at a convention, or maybe they see your art, your videos, your story, your comic, online like a really good thing to do would be to make comics and post them on webtoon the editors are already there looking at comics so that would be a good place to put your comics the best way to let people know that you make good comics is by making good comics actually it's the only way so go make some comics and be sure to like link love hug and sub for more sweet sweet goodness peace